Hello, everybody. I'm Lil A, aka known as Avery Sanders. I am Jenny Snipes. I am Zaporia Watley. This is my Valley Experience. And this is my Valley Experience. And this is my Valley Experience. One of the main things I'm proud to say I'm a part of is Delta Sigma Theta. That's one of the main things I'm happy to say I joined on, on campus at Valley. I'm part of the um, break room. I'm part of the um, newspaper gazette. Um, I learned a lot here, but those are the three main things I say I'm really proud to be a part of. And I'm not forget this, the track team, most definitely. So being here on Valley campus, uh, I was a part of a couple of different things. Most most importantly, baseball. That's what I came here for. That's what you know. Try to put all my you know all my eggs in that basket. For the most part, um, I wanted to come here to put my head down and get to work. Be better as a player. Be better as a baseball player. Uh, be better as a human. And you know everything surrounding life and everything that I wanted to do. Uh, it started with that's why I'm here. That's what got me here. So started with baseball. So during my time at Valley, since fall of 2020, I have participated in several activities. Um, my first thing on campus that I joined was SGA right away because I knew that I wanted to make a change on campus once I got here. I wanted to be involved and I wanted to, you know, build relationships because I didn't know anyone coming. So my first activity that I got a part of was um, vice president of my freshman class and I liked that position so I ended up running again and doing that position again my sophomore year. And then, during my junior year, I wanted to branch out and do something different. I have also served as the editor of the newspaper, but I am now a columnist. So as you can tell, I've been kind of all over the place, but I feel that I've made the best of my Valley experience. I learned a lot being here. It allowed me to mature and speak up for myself. Um, like being the only child, like I said, it was a... Uh, it was fun here, and um, being a student, it allowed me to be more mature and responsible, um, knowing I'm far away from home. Um, every professor I ever had always treated me like family. That's one of the uh, amazing perks that you always get here at Valley. So it allowed me to be more mature. You know, and then transition to you know the communications department, um, which I, I always tell people, I think it's the best major on campus, because I think it gives us real life experience um, with the TV studio, the radio station, uh, working with the newspaper. So all those things I think really gave me some experience and some exposure that I can use with my reels and everything in terms of my resume and things like that. So those are some of the highlights. I think just the, the fact that I'm able to build relationships with my professors and they know me by name. Like so many people think going to a big school is, you know, <clears throat> I'm not taking away from a big university, but I love just the inclusiveness of a small university. The fact that I can walk around campus and I actually have relationships with the people that I see every day. And I love that most about Valley. Um, another thing that I love about Valley is just the, the family feel. Like you feel like it's, you're going to school with siblings. Like you build close connections with your classmates to the point that they start to feel like your brothers and sisters away from home. And I love that, the fact, the relationship building process and just how we've learned how to, you know, create something out of nothing. Like, it's not much around Valley. Um, Valley is placed in a very rural area, but the fact that we know how to make fun, we know how to just decide we're doing Taco Tuesday at the Mexican in Greenwood, who's going. Like, I like the fact that we just make our own moves and we kind of just bond, you know, from there. Uh, the one thing I say I take away from being a mass comm student is how each professor pushes you harder in this department to step out of your comfort zone. Um, being in front of the camera is a major part in communication, and I um, I struggled with that at first because I didn't like talking in front of the camera. But as each professor pushes you every day to do that, then it becomes a normal thing, and I feel like that's. One of the uh, great things I will always take away from Valley. One of my favorite memories is always was the break room, being there six, uh, six at night, and recording speakers, 
just with my friends, and it was fun. The shows I used to put on the radio station, I started with that, and then it goes into the break room, um, working with the break room, all the cast, uh, you know, Mr. Adams, Ms. Sanders, uh, Mr. Mark, I can't think of his last name right now, but, you know, <laughs> all the memories associated with it had so many laughs. Um, it was just a great time, just being with the crew. Um, it was still a learning experience, and, you know, I really enjoyed that. And the TV studio, um, Mr. White put me in contact with some really good people. Um, I ended up working with Mr. Kyle. I forgot his last name. I'm just really bad with names right now. But Mr. Kyle, uh, I recorded basketball games, football games with him. And that's given me a lot of experience as well. So, you know, those people really helped me. I think the theater classes gave me a new experience. Like, anybody who knows me knows that I do well with speaking. But when it comes to acting, that's kind of like you're putting me in a place where I'm not really comfortable, but I think those are the the classes that kind of allow me to break out of my shell and not be the normal, you know, about my business. I have to get this done, support it. It gave me a um, sense of creativity, and I think getting to be a part of the theater productions within the department helped me to, you know, open myself up into a new world of creativity that I didn't even know existed. I'll say one thing about Bally, one of the hurdles is Bally is how do I put it? Um, it's like it's like um sometimes they can be late on some things that's very important. That's one of the biggest hurdles I'll say is um is um at Valley is they they be late on certain things that's very important. But other than that, just like um my member, uh, Zephory Watley, said Valley is small, but they make do with what they have. And that's Probably just that transition of learning those skills, because, you know, there's always that speed bump to go through. Um, I guess, it, you know, you start with the knowledge of what you have to do, and then it's integrating it into a product, a finished product of making it happen. And I think that it started off rough for me, because I, I would say I had the knowledge you know, to make it happen. I could speak. And uh, I think that part wasn't an issue. It was just getting in front of a camera and trying to make it happen. And it's still a work in progress. It's always going to be a work in progress. And um, I think it's led me to the point where I know kind of what I want to do. Um, work behind the camera a little bit, write, you know, stick with stick with those strengths. So I think that really, it, it started off as a weakness, but I think it pushed me ultimately to where I want to be. So I honestly feel like, you know, Problems with financial aid, you know, not always having access to the best housing options on campus, not having the best food in the cafeteria, those are um, problems that, you know, every HBCU is trying to overcome. But I honestly feel like with Valley being where it is and just having limited resources, we make well, we make do with what we have. And I think that's the most important thing is making do with what we have. I would most definitely say take a chance at Valley because even though Valley is small, a lot of great things came out of Valley. And it gets so unrecognized sometimes, but a lot of great things have came out of Valley. So I would definitely say take an opportunity. For people following, I think this is a great place to be. I always tell people, uh, this Mississippi Valley State University is what you make it. I tell people, baseball recruits, anybody asking that you know are, are coming here, it's what you make it. You might look around and see there's not a whole lot compared to where you might have come from. But to me, that was one of the pluses of why I think it made it such a special place. You know, the mass comm department, it's like a family. I can honestly say I look at everybody in our classes and be like, I, I know who they are and they're special to me. Um, and it allows you to be the best version of yourself. You just put your head down and you work and be a better person, be a better anything you put yourself into, whether it's a fraternity, sorority, um, anything you put yourself into, you can be your best version of that self. So I think that's what you should take away from it. So if I could leave you with one thing, I would say that Valley is a great foundation for life. If you're wanting to come here and grow as an individual and become more mature as a young adult, Valley is the place for you because we might not have it all, but we make do with what we have.